Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we'll be talking about Microsoft Defender for the cloud. So it's a cloud workload protection program, which is CWPP, that also delivers cloud security posture management, which is CSPM, for all the Azure and on-premises as well as multi-cloud resources. So if we talk about today's video, this is the architecture that we're gonna create. So already we have done with this one, in the previous lab. Now we'll be dealing with the Azure Security Center in which we'll be performing three different tasks. So let's go back and coming to the exercise one, we'll be implementing Microsoft Defender for the cloud. So first we have to go to the Azure portal and here you have to search for Microsoft Defender. So if I click here, you can see there's a Microsoft Defender for the cloud, click that and here you need to do some few upgrades so if i go to the get started and here you need to click update so there will be a button here which you need to click upgrade so that it will be upgraded so once it is done we have to go to the install agents so this uh, virtual dashboard will be uh, seen here you have to click install agents and here you need to click install agents so once it is done you can uh, go back to the overview let's go to the get started so here there will be other uh, uh, there will be also the workspaces uh, that you created for this log analytics you have to click that and even upgrade that too so it will be upgraded so both your azure as well as uh, your log analytics workspace will be upgraded so once it is done we can uh, go back to the environmental settings which is under management click that you can see we have to upgrade these to the first one as well as uh, is it 500 uh, wo uh, lab workspace that we have created before in the previous lab so now so if we click our uh, subscription here you can see uh, defender plans we have to click enable all and save so however everything is on so i'm not doing it so once it's done go to the auto provision So in this, you have to make sure that the log analytics agent for the Azure VM is on. So once it is done, the next step is we have to go to the settings and the workflow automation. Click that. So if you talk about uh, workflow automation, the security center workflow automation allows you to create a trigger and from that trigger, you can initiate an action. So these workflows are created at a subscription level and you are able to have multiple workflows to cover these multiple triggers. So you can click the workflow automation and you can see there is a trigger condition as well as there is a relevant action to that particular trigger. So you can keep the name and uh, select the particular resource group that you want to, but in this case, I'm not adding it as it's not mentioned in the docs. So I'm just canceling this so make sure that you just review the actions so once it is done go back to the environmental settings so if i go back and so you can expand it and now click the log analytics workspace so here you have to make sure that you enable all however since it's all enabled i'm not doing it and once it's enabled make sure you save the button here so once it's done the next task is to review the microsoft defender for uh, cloud recommendations so for that let's go back to microsoft defender cloud and here you can go to the overview and you can note the secure score here which is 56 in this case so if we talk about secure score 
it's a numerical summary of your uh, security posture based on system configurations user behavior and other security relevant uh, measurements so so this is the security posture uh, for this portal so it's 56 percent in this case so the next one is we can go to the assessed resources on the top here you can see click that so here let's go with my vm that has been created in the previous lab so you can see all the recommendations uh, related description CVRT as well as the status of it some says unhealthy healthy and so on so we have to implement these recommendations to increase our uh, secure score so once it is done now we can go with the task 3 which is implementation for the Microsoft Defender for cloud recommendations to enable just-in-time access so for that let's go to the VM let's go to the overview page again and in the overview under cloud security you can see work workload protections so here You can see just in time under advanced protection click that and however here we are not seeing the VM so we just need to click uh, try just in time access so since we are not seeing VM we should go back to our virtual machines and we should give access from here under configurations so if you type so under configuration you have to enable just in time so click that so basically just in time access locks down and limits the ports of azure virtual machines uh, in order to overcome the malicious attacks on the virtual machines therefore only providing access to ports for a limited amount of time so basically you block all inbound traffic at the network level so that is the definition given so we have given it so once it is done we can go back to our defender and let's go to the workload protection let's see whether uh, we are able to see it or not just in time access was successfully enabled for that VM so so even you can see here under recommendations
So these are the particular recommendations uh, given by the defender. So we have to enable MFA and secure management post and so on. So after implementing this, we can uh, increase our secure score. So I see there are most of them are unhealthy. So you have to do that. So if I check workloads again, now I can see just in time axis. Well, it's the same. So you can see the information related to that. What is uh, just in time your access and how does it works? So upon a user request based on the sure uh, role based access, different for the cloud will be decided whether to grant access. If request is approved, Defender for the cloud automatically configures the NSGs to allow the inbound traffic to this port for the request amount of time after which it restores the NSG to their previous states. So usually under these uh, workload protections you have to click this just in time and here you can see the virtual machine so it's not yet updated from my end so here you have to go to the non-configured and you have to configure your uh, my VM and enable enable the JIT on that particular VM. So this is how you can enable that. So right now it's taking a long time. So I'll be showing this in the next videos. So yeah, I hope you guys have understood the concept of uh, Microsoft Defender for the Cloud. If you have liked the video, please click like below and if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys.